Hello Cherubs, welcome to Bradshaw's Guides. I'm in Chichester today with Marek from Cool Dudes Walking Club. We're going to go and walk the uh, Chichester Canal and a bit of the harbour and see what's going on and um, it's going to be high octane stuff. Let's go. We're only about five minutes in and the architecture's blowing me away. It's high octane stuff. High octane. You knows it. This is the moment in the video where I get overly enthusiastic about the finish on the building. It's high octane stuff. Random palm trees in the cold wet city of Chichester. I always think it's weird how palm trees just show up randomly in the UK. I only started noticing, noticing this a few years ago. I don't know why people plant, I think people want that to aspire to make it look like it's some tropical destination. Through this gateway to heaven. We're going through these, uh, this fish paddock garden and then just on to some main road. <laughs> just, just, cool. just to top it all off. Oh, we're cutting through there, there's a public path there. No, but that's what we do. We like to take our lives in our hands for our dear viewers, don't we? Well, I don't like to risk my life, especially. Well, I mean, it's a different sort of channel, mate. <laughs> you, do, you do that. You could do that on yours. I'm just going to uh, go for a light, leisurely stroll. Oh, you check the road before you cross and I won't then. Right, that'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> need the bloody fact sheet here. Oh, OK. Don't need it. Didn't need to do my research because there's one here. Do you want to pick your favourite fact from that there, Marek? There aren't any, really. Uh, there's a nice blue bottle on there, though, look. Do you have a fact blue bottle? No, it's gone. Novio Magus. That's the name of Chichester. That's the name of Chichester and probably a new strain of coronavirus. It does sound like that. <laughs> So Novio Magus would be like coronavirus, but more really violent shitting. Right, first semi-dangerous part of the walk. I don't think we need to go over the bridge, we can just go on the road. Okay. <laughs> Even more dangerous, we're going over the road and over the tracks. Oh! Unless you wanted the drama of um, going over the think yeah, I think compared our experiences. That would be the ultimate YouTube video. <laughs> I want to say, was the bridge better than the road? Yeah, People would love that? that shit. Should we do that? I can't be bothered to be okay. the, I don't <laughs> want to be the bridge guy. <laughs> okay. Come with me. As I say, I have no fear, as you've just experienced. Marek's now taking his life in his hands because he's walking in the cycle lane. Oh, God. That was a close one. Wow. I know. Life in the fast lane, isn't it? So that's a very colourful boat. We're at the South Gate Basin now. Marit's taking some pictures of some moth men. And I'm going to tell you that there have been proposals to build a canal linking Chichester City to the sea all the way back in the 1500s, but nothing came to fruition for hundreds of years until the early 1800s. And finally, on the 9th of April, 1822, the Chichester Canal was opened. Check out Marit's video about the canal for four fascinating facts. Over there is Chichester City and the cathedral, which you probably can't see in my low-reaching camera lens. And then across here we have the canal that runs all the way under the A27. That's the next part that's going to be really high octane, walking under the motorway. And when I put my umbrella up, the rain stops, and when I put my umbrella down, the rain starts. So I'm going to put it down now, and then the rain will start again. Basically, if we'd just been walking along here, instead of talking about fags and drinking, then that branch could have killed one of us. Because I was looking right at it and it fell on the path. Look at that, that's a heavy branch. That could have done one of us in. Would have got loads of views though. Would have done. <laughs> yeah, so I put my umbrella down so it's raining again. It'll stop now. Some people live in these, like trolls and stuff. So I'm gonna put my umbrella down. And it echoes. I don't have to put this in the video. <laughs> there he is. Did you do your poo? It's literally a dump. It's just all sleeping bags. About eight sleeping bags. Carnage up there. Stop and get a shot of this heavy machinery. It's a bit rusty. Floating around over there. What are they, Kit? I don't know enough about the different 
varieties of the heavy machinery. Well, we'll make up a name. Uh, I think that one nearest is the Digger Deluxe. And uh, the one in the background is the... Uh, bigger what? Bigger Digger? The Bigger Digger Deluxe. Mega Snatch. <laughs> That sounds really bad. Where's that? I can only see the heavy machinery. <laughs> it's the Swan Fashion Show we've all been waiting for. And modelling a nice brown number here. I'll give the award to uh, the straggler at the back. Oh, no! <laughs> did a big, as I said that, did a big shit. <laughs> Obviously doesn't want the award. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, gents. Doing a great job. How you doing fellas, all right? I know, so changeable. As soon as I put my brolly up, it stops raining and I put it down, it rains again. Have a good day. So, if my memory serves me correctly, we have to go along the main road now for a little bit and then back onto it over there. We're going to take our lives in our hands again now, Marek, on that main road. Right, so we're here. I don't even know what, I don't know what we're doing. We're going over there. Yeah. First half of the walk, I think. No, actually, we're not even halfway, actually. It's probably about the first third of the walk. I can give you the details if you like. Okay. Give us the details. Oh, you've only walked 2.39 miles. Oh, too busy ranting and raving, aren't we? 6.27 miles to go. 2.4 miles in nearly two hours. That is one of the slowest. Nice and sedate. The canal was formally abandoned in 1928 because nobody could really work out what to do with it after the Industrial Revolution. But during the Second World War, the canal was converted into an anti-tank obstacle to stop the Germans from invading Chichester should they land on British soil. The changes to the canal caused some damage to the banks and a houseboat. Arguments about who should pay for it lasted until 1947, Merrick. Which is also the year of the Roswell UFO crash, actually. Oh, coincidence. Yeah. I don't think so. Agreed. Even the gnomes wear masks around here. Righteous pricks. <laughs> None of them are two metres apart, but up there... Oh, two metres. What kind of example is yeah. that? Well, I suppose two metres to a gnome is a bit less... Oh, you're right, actually. ...than two humans. You are right. Sort of. Marek, question for you. How far do you think you could get if you ran off the bank onto those lily pads? Oh, as if using the lilies to walk on water? Yeah, like some sort of amphibious Jesus. So the average lily can take one frog, right? Yeah, those ones are quite big. Well, there's only one thing to do, and that's try, right? Right. Go on, then. Oh, unfortunately, we lost the footage. You just smell of like, years and years of duck mess and dead bodies in there. I mean, that's one of the perks of being a frog. When you look at it now, it'd be great to... Can they actually leap from lily to lily? Yes, like, in, just... like in the Disney films. Yeah, I've only seen the cartoon version. I've not seen it. I thought they were documentaries. What, the cartoons? Yeah, yeah. I've just realised I've never seen a frog do it in real life. I've only seen cartoon frogs jump from lily to lily. So we've got to the end of the first third of our walk and right at the end of this there's a load of electrical equipment and one of the busiest roads I think I've seen on this walk. Lives in our hands for our viewers, Marek. Go on, go on, quick, quick. That was so brave, Marek. <laughs> How do you think the first third's gone? It's pretty samey. Yeah? Pretty samey, slightly gravelly path next to a canal. Yeah. They're never the most interesting canals because by the virtue of being canal, there's a straight line, right? But this one's got one big bend on uh, up there, so it's a bit bit less straight than usual. Oh, something to look forward to. Uh, have I told you this yet? When we get to the end of this part, there's a massive harbour with loads of yachts parked in it. Parked? Moored. <laughs> <laughs> so in the undergrowth on the bank here, there 
are some tiny little things that halted the last uh, restoration process on the canal. Do you know what those tiny little things might be, Marek? Well, I feel like I'm spoiling it because we've been talking about them quite a bit. Oh yes, I've already told you. If, if I didn't know, yeah, I you... would <laughs> guess something like water voles. Correct, Marek Larwood. There are water voles living all along the bank here, but they're very shy, so we probably won't see any today. But they started uh, restoration 12 years ago and uh, they had to halt the restoration after a couple of years because it was discovered that there are water voles along here. And What's the difference between sorry to interrupt, normal voles and water voles? I don't know 100% but my gut feeling would be that a normal vole lives on the land and a water vole lives by the water. Yeah but I'm thinking, um, I meant that the... Uh is any physical difference between water voles? Viewers can wider. You can let us know. Pictures, pictures of water voles will appear now. Yes. Let us know in the comments below. If in doubt, get someone else to do the work. That's yeah. what the comments below is. Yeah, that's the best thing I about the comments. Not be asked to look it up. So you look it up and write it below. Water voles are a protected species under Schedule 5 of the UK Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. But normal voles aren't. Absolutely Door. stinking. Oh, look at that. What's that? It's a bird of prey. I wouldn't be surprised if that has heard of this water vole chat. Yes. And realised <laughs> this is... We basically told this bird of prey about these poor water voles' homes. Well, it looks like the voles won't be here much longer and they can carry on with the restoration then. All thanks to this video. We've done Chichester City Council a favour today. So we've got to the end of this portion of the walk. We're now onto a really busy road. <laughs> it's genuinely stressful for me because I've lived in London the last 20 years. I've completely lost my judgment of car speeds. Oh, they go like a bat out of hell down here. We're just walking along the, uh, the entrance to the yacht club here. And Warren and Denise are here! So what are you up to? We're going for a, a walk, probably to Waterloo. Oh, very nice. How long? We're doing eight point... That's what it is. Eight right? miles, yeah. I was about eight, eight miles, miles yeah. Eight miles. Eight miles. Halfway through, now, aren't we? Yeah, halfway through. We're going to stop and have our sandwiches. No, we're going... It's circular around the canal and then yeah. uh, back up, yeah. How, what coincidence, eh? I drove past your house on the way over as well. That's in the video as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a little lay down on the front lawn. Yeah. All right. See you, nice to meet you. Catch you later, folks. Chichester Yacht Club. Is that an impression that of that motorbike? That or is that just a the good sign, motorbike or, or does the sign look delicious? It's just a look at the facilities on offer. Ah. Walking up the main route into Chichester Marina, past the houseboats, and we're getting quite a lot of funny looks from people as they drive past probably thinking who are those two Adonises walking up to have a look at the boats like a bit of yachtage do you there's always something going clang 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 you know the uh, oh yeah all the ropes and stuff yeah, yeah. that's what i meant ropes yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay for kit that's where i'd stay so my mate the bhc lives in one of these here i've never met him before I've met him before because obviously he's my mate, but I've never <laughs> been. I've never been. <laughs> I just randomly picked a bloke to be my mate, but I don't know who it is yet. Um, he lives in uh, one of these boats along here, but I don't know what one. Yeah, but uh, and my imaginary mate lives in all the boats. Oh, does well, he? Yeah, yeah. what the biggest one? I've never yeah, met yeah. him, but yeah, yeah. he lives in one of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, he was going to be here today, but he's brick laying, so he can't see us. Today, oh. so. Anyway, nice to see you, imaginary friend. Safety first. I've got a question for you viewers about boats. See, it's Pooh Man, a new car game I've invented. Please click on the link to find out all about it. Possibly the greatest card game of the 21st century. <laughs> Horrifically, we've just chanced upon a murder scene where they've drawn the chalk of the, where the body was found. And as if that wasn't bad enough, Right next to it, they've already dug the grave to put the person into. A post box. Elizabeth II, of course. Take a look at my post box tour of East Preston to learn about the history of uh, post boxes. Uh, it's, it's popping up here now. This is a members club and I think we'll get bollocks for eating our meal deals here. What do you reckon? 
you can only eat steak and foie gras. Yeah, <laughs> almost a disaster. We took a wrong turning, but we've just seen Warren and Denise again, the oracles of what direction to take. So we're going to go over there across the, the concrete jetty. And in a minute, if my memory serves me correctly, we come into some uh, lustrous fields of barley and hay. Oh, it sounds dreamy. After a, a nice woodland excursion first. So we're seeing all the different elements of the English countryside today and bringing it to you, dear viewers. Cracking bit of heavy machinery. Oh, see, I really have to just jump in there then. That looks quite refreshing, doesn't it? Yes, please. Okay, you're saying bolt. Okay, mate, thank you. Too busy yakking, weren't we? <laughs> I like how you're saying bolts because of my uh, the verb instead of saying best best run across. Sebastian Co. Carl Lewis. Okay, cool. I think we're just over halfway through our walk and we've stopped for lunch. I've got two hard boiled eggs that are gonna be a bit pongy now. A feta beetroot beetroot and baby leaf salad, a bottle of water and a Boost Plus protein bar for energy. Just had a delicious lunch, and now we're at a fork in the road. Sultan's Corpse. What way are we going, Merrick? This way. This way. Absolute disaster. We either go through someone's garden or in that ditch. Oh, God, my heart was in my mouth then, Mary. But we nearly ended up going into that Somewhere garden. garden. That would have been quite nice. Oh, it's okay if you ranger said we could go there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if you ranger said that you know more than yeah. welcome, you yeah. choose my toilet facility. But I'm just going to put some clothes on first. Help yourself to anything from the fridge. Yeah. Are you sure? Friend of few rangers, a friend of mine. <laughs> We've just noticed that, the, that there's a, a fact here on this board that says the area is shared by 55,000 birds, 10,000 boats, and 8,500 residents. And we've already seen that on the board like further down wherever we were earlier. Where were we? Here. It's not everywhere. I've been on other walks. I've seen that on walks down here. I've seen that on walks in Scotland. They just use the same facts everywhere you go Next. nowadays. Well, the country's gone to the dogs, Marrick. Here we have the lesser spotted black sock, very common around Chester Harbour, often mates in pairs. We've just spotted what we think is a giant bird, a giant seabird, sat on the hull of a derelict boat in the distance. Marrick's currently zooming in to see what kind of bird it is, but we're a bit concerned that it might just be a bit of rusted wreckage that looks a bit like a bird. Yeah, it's a piece of metal, Marrick. How disappointing. I thought we'd discovered a new species of giant seabird, the Chichester giant sea cormorant. Well, we've got slightly lost, but we're sort of back on track. View Ranger sorted us out, sort of. Are you becoming friends with View Ranger? I'm gradually befriending you, View Ranger. I'm coming round to view Ranger. It's certainly better than winging it. Now we're in, I think, would this be called a cops, Marrick? No, it's not really, is it? Field. It's a field, that's the one. Couldn't remember. I don't know where we're coming out to now, but there's a road here and it's got a 60 mile per hour sign on it. Oh, sorry, national speed limit sign on it. That usually means that we're near civilization, doesn't it? If there's a national speed, or a road even. You've got a what in your ear? A beetle. A bee. A bee.
This looks dangerous. Do we cross over here? Yeah. Oh, good. I thought, we, go. I thought maybe we had to walk along the edge. Imminent danger. When I read Fortune Times, this is the kind of path where a black panther or a leopard runs across in front you of you. Times. I subscribe to Fortune Times, mate. I've got a copy of Fourteen Times in my bag right now. Oh my god. Little story. Alien autopsy. See, I just said we're not going to get out of this field and there's evidence of someone else not getting out of the field. At the other end of a really badly marked public bridleway, we've come to some rogue containers on a big pile of shingle. I was a bit concerned that there was a sniper in that container up there that was going to take us out as we walked across this field, but we've made it this far, so hopefully I'll just use a handgun now. We could cross it if... Where do we go on the other side? I'm not sure my shit has done it. Yeah, it's a good idea. Right this is <laughs> fucking work, man. <laughs> that better be a crossing up there. We can walk along that grassy bit if we have to. After this? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> hey? Yeah, I've got that, yeah. Excellent. Nice to date stroll around the countryside in the harbour and now suddenly we've had to take our lives in our hands. Hello, rat. <laughs> Almost at the end of our walk, but I'll just finish off with this fun fact. I slept under that bridge once after I went to a wedding in town and got my wires crossed about getting a lift home and I had to wander the streets of the city for a few hours and then finally I found that spot there and I slept quite well with the rats until McDonald's opened at 5am. It was probably made worse by the fact that I was wearing a suit the whole time with a tie as well. Wow, it's yellow inside. Holy moly. Well done Cheris, we've walked 9.2 miles today, Marek and I. Check out Cool Dudes Walking Club, of course. Uh, this is him here. This is a new thing we've done today. We've put our own perspective on, with each of our cameras on our different YouTube channels. It's probably been done before. I feel like it's quite unique. It's the first time it's ever been done in YouTube history. Excellent. See, trendsetters blazing the trail, us two. Stopped off here for a beer and I've given Marek a T-shirt. Thank you very much. Look at that. Everyone's clothing dreams come true, well mine especially. Thanks Kit. I also get those from Gemma at Mr T-shirts, if you ever fancy giving her a shout. MrT-shirts.co.uk Nice one, catch you later, bye!